guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to look at the Graveyard Swamp Queen palette with you guys. Uh, my husband actually bought this for me last week, I believe, so he surprised me with this bad boy and I was so happy to get it. It's such a beautiful palette. So basically this is the uh, palette by Tarte. Um, it's a collaboration with Grave 3 Yard Girl. So it's a Swamp Queen palette. It has a really cute alligator on it and it looks like faux wood. Um, I never heard of Graveyard Girl before actually this palette came out. So I'm really excited that she collabed with this palette because right now this is my go-to palette. It is one of my favorites. And let's look inside. So what's super cool with this palette is you have nine shades and you have a bronzer, a blush, and a extremely amazingly pigmented highlight. Um, so this is the, and it comes with a brush. Where did I put that brush? I'll get that brush. Um, what's super cool with this is it's a great travel palette. Like you have your bronzer, your blush, your highlight, your shades, and it comes with a brush and you have a super huge mirror. And the mirror which is really cute says on it, believe in yourself, love yourself, embrace your individuality, which is really awesome because I did start watching her videos and she's super unique. She's true to herself and I really love that about her. Um, so a good congrats to the uh, Graveyard Girl because this palette is awesome. So I'll go through the colors with you. So here you have some more mauve tones. Um, here you have Dogman, Natural Peaches, and SFS. So Dogman is like a terracotta brown. This is my favorite shade in the palette and it's a matte shade. This is a shimmer shade. No, this is also a matte shade, Natural Peaches. And you have a shimmer shade, shimmer shade, hashtag SFS. So let me just show these for you guys. So, that's what it looks like. So this shows up amazing on my skin tone. I just love, love, love this color. Let's see. Big baby here, I believe, is more of like a, a brow bone highlight color. Sassy bun is such a pigmented bronzy color. I absolutely love this color. Look at that. Brandon, can you stop making so much noise? Stop making so much noise. Look at that. I absolutely love this color. Stop. Look. I know, but I'm trying to record here, so. So my kids are on walkie-talkies while I start recording, just to make my life miserable. <laughs> the idea of this color, but the sparkles don't stick, so. Like, I don't know if you could see. You can see the sparkles, but as soon as I blow on it, uh, they're gone. So it's more of a matte brown shade, unless, I don't know, if you have some fixed plus, it'll probably stick better. Um, it's super pigmented though, and I love it for its matte brown shade, so that doesn't bother me too, too much, to be quite honest. Um, and then you have the purpley shade, which I find really awesome. This <laughs> graveyard girl is like, really, she's a pale girl. But these shades look great on my skin tone. And, and I'm assuming any other person with like a medium skin tone like or a tan skin tone like mine, even darker, like I feel like she did such a good job making a universally good palette. So I've been playing around with this for about a month, uh, not a month, for about a week now. So I'm truly enjoying it. So all these colors, even this one here, this is like the purpley tones. Hold on a second, let me swatch that for you guys. These are the purpley tones. And this is Man Cat, Uncommon, and Haunting. Look at that, beautiful colors. The pigmentation on this is off the chain, people. Um, if you wanna see Gator Wings, which is my favorite highlight of all time. Look at this, look at this watch. Look at that, look at that, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And I will swatch for you the blush. 
See, the problem with the blushes is like, if you swatch them, they don't look like much. Um, but when you put them on your cheeks, I'm actually wearing enough, not as you can tell. Um, it looks great. So, and also I find the blush might be a little orangey on on uh, paler girls, but on our skin tone, it looks great, like on a medium tan skin tone. So, I absolutely love this palette. I did this look right here with the Swamp Clean palette. Um, if you're interested in knowing how I did this look, stay tuned. Okay, here I already had primed my eyes using the Smashbox Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. And now I'm using a fluffy blending brush. This is my MAC, uh, I believe, 217 brush. And I'm going into the color Natural Peaches. And I'm putting that all over my crease as a transition color. I took a smaller blending brush and I took the color Dogman. And I'm just focusing that in my crease area. Wow. I just went back with a stiffer blending brush and I'm blending that out just to make sure there's no harsh lines and it's nicely blended. Now I went back with the smaller blending brush and the color Dogman and I'm just focusing that in my crease again just to build up the intensity and the fine the crease just a little bit more. Now I'm applying the beautiful color Sassy Bun on my eyelid with a shader brush and this has got to be the most beautiful coppery gold color I've ever seen and it's one of my favorite colors in this palette and I'm just putting that all over the lid now I'm taking the color man cat and it's like a plummy purple shade and I'm just focusing that at the outer corner of my eye just to deepen up the outer corners now I'm using the shade big baby and I'm using this shade to highlight my brow bone I'm going back into Dogman with a short shader brush and putting that underneath my waterline. Now I went into the color Natural Peaches with a blending brush and I'm just blending out my waterline with this color. Now I'm applying the highlighter color called Gator Weeks on the brow bone and in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten up the eye a little bit. Now I'm cleaning this up with my Hidden Corrective Concealer by Hourglass. And I'm just going to buff that out with a concealer brush. Okay, so I just went off camera and I applied a liner and mascara. And now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and I'm applying the Sweet Tea Bronzer. And I'm just curving up my cheekbones there now I'm taking the blush in this palette which is called does this thing really work and I'm using a blush brush and just applying that on my cheekbones Now I'm just applying the highlights with the highlight. <laughs> Again, it's the color Gator Wings, and I love this color. It's so sparkly. So this is the finished look. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And please make sure you subscribe. And thank you for watching.